Enzo Carter, and today we're going to do our first unboxing video. We have um, the actual box, which we bought off eBay. We needed some radioactive samples, so we bought them. You can look at this right here. It, it actually came in this nice little box. I like that. Pretty good. And here is uh, the, some of the elements. And now let's open the box. And there's some magnets to hang them up, and look at them. Look nice, right? Now we're going to see if they're radioactive with our Geiger counter. This is a GMC 600 Plus, very sensitive to alpha particles since it's got the alpha collector. Now that we got them all laid out in line, you, uh, you can pan over them. And now let's look at the first slide, tritium. This is a tiny little um, uh, cylinder, glass cylinder with a tiny bit of tritium in it. And here's the slide. It, um, that is the tritium atom, which you can make in a nuclear reactor like the one we have by bombarding deuterium together. And it is, uh, it is um, just hydrogen with two extra neutrons, and it has a mass of, um, uh, it has an atomic, it ha its atomic mass is three. Next one. Next one we have radium. And you see we have some nice radium clock handles or watch handles. Put those back. And uranium is an alkali earth metal. It has, um, this is the uranium decay chain, which, um, Radium is right here, which then decays into radon, which then goes on all the way until um, lead. It was discovered by Marie Curie in 1898, and the Curie is based on the radioactivity of um, um, radium-226. Um, interesting fact, Marie Curie died of, um, uh, because of the fact that radium, um, uh, she was exposed to so much um, radiation from radium, that she got cancer and died, and it was because she was ignorant of the fact that radium killed her or that radiation in general damaged cell and caused cancer. Now to the next slide. Next up, we have uranium. We actually have two uranium samples, samples here. The first one is these little uranium um, orbs, and the next one is little um, pieces of uranium oxide coated pewter plates, which um, people actually ate off. Uh, uranium has no stable version of it. It has multiple versions, such as uranium-238, uranium-235, which is used in atomic bombs, and uranium-233 and 34. I think those are also, um, uh, it's isotoped. Eventually, uh, like back here, this is the uranium decay chain, it will eventually decay into lead. And it, it's really cool that it came with two uranium samples. They're both really nice. You can see them here. And now for the next one. Next we have Krypton, which is actually not radioactive, but it is used in um, uh, gas lights, gas light bulbs, and it is very good at that since it um, uh, keeps it um, keeps the tungsten the tungsten um, filament uh, cooler, so it doesn't like so it lasts the light bulb lasts longer. Next up we have europium. Um, europium actually is not radioactive, but what it does is it absorbs um. Uh, sunlight or just light in general and then it'll slowly um release it when once it's put in dark it is um very interesting and it's right here it's in powder form and it was named after europe because i guess it's abundancy there we're going to do a quick europium test what europium does it, is it absorbs photons and then slowly emits them for a prolonged period of time, matters of exposure, of course. But here we have a very high power photon gun, and we're about to smack some photons into our europium sample. So first, and now you can see it kind of glow, maybe. And now I can turn the lights off. And look at that. Looks kind of like radium, right? Just even the radium isn't glowing right now. And even if you look at the tritium, it's also glowing slightly. Awesome. 
that's pretty cool. They actually use europium for some paints, so it, that's what you'll see if you're walking by a house that's slightly glowing at night. Lastly, we have gallium. Gallium acts kind of like mercury, just it melts it a little bit higher at 85 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is um, not toxic or poisonous at all. The sample is here. The thing is, if a chemist ever offers you a hot drink, the spoon you stir with it might disappear because they, because you can make it, because I guess they might freeze on a little mold of a gallium and then put it in your hot drink. So it takes a few minutes for it to melt. And now for the fun part, the Geiger counter test. First up, we have tritium, the um, uh, hydrogen isotope, actually glows in the dark, half-life of 12 years. Put the Geiger counter on there. As you can see, it is definitely radioactive. And that's within two cases, which block alphas, and that's what it gives off. Now let's put that, uh, no, not put that back. Let's go on to the next one, radium. Radium is you may, was mainly used in clock and watch handles, also playing instruments, because it glows in the dark. And now we're going to put this on there, and look, immediately it starts going up like crazy. Radium is extremely radioactive, even more so than uranium. See, it's very hot. Almost 700 CPM after like only 10 or 15 seconds. Put that away. Now for the uranium samples. First sample, we have those little uranium orbs. Put that on there. See, as you can see, it's going up kind of slowly. It's kind of going down right now, actually. So it's definitely not as radioactive as radium, but it definitely still is radioactive. Because we're definitely picking up some radiation. Now for the other sample, the um, uh, uranium oxide coated pewter plate. Definitely more radioactive than those little ra uranium balls. Yeah, look how fast it's going up. It's like, since we didn't put the radium on for a full minute, it was already up to like 700, it's going a little higher. But it's at 900 right now. That is pretty hot. Next one, the Krypton, which is actually a stable isotope. As you can see, it's not ticking. And then europium and gallium are also, I'm pretty sure, stable isotopes. Yep, Ura europium, uranium, gallium, and krypton are all stable isotopes. And the other four, very unstable. Well, we got this off from... Uh, uh, eBay and it's um, pretty neat comes in this little box comes with all these and some magnets to hang it up pretty nice all you have to search is on eBay Bi the big boy toys element set seven elements that's pretty much all you have to search up it's around $75 and not plus shipping tax or whatever but um, pretty, pretty reasonable for these um, element samples especially that uh, uranium pewter plate that looks pretty cool well, thanks for watching. Um, if you want us to do more unboxing videos, please put your um, feedback in the comment section below. And uh, that's all for today.